the passenger of that vehicle rolled down the window. The passenger of that vehicle leaned out of the window, aimed a gun. If he's hanging out the door, let's say Junior's correct, he's hanging out the window, he's doing, his DNA would be other places in that car. And it's not. First at 10, verdict watch. The defense and the prosecution state their case one last time before the jury decides the fate of a Bakersfield man charged with killing five-year-old Kaysen Guyton. Thanks for joining us this evening. I'm Rochelle Murcia. And I'm Michael Patterson. The murder trial of Jonathan Knight is coming to a close, and a Kern County courtroom is now awaiting a jury decision. Eyewitness News reporter Micah Thomas has been following this case for weeks. She catches us up with today's closing arguments. This marks the 11th day of trial in the murder case of five-year-old Kaysen Guyton. And both the prosecution and the defense presented compelling closing arguments to the jury. The prosecution focused on Knight's alleged gang involvement in the Westside Crips and highlighted evidence that they believe shows this shooting was an attempt to further the status of the gang after a verbal altercation with rival gang members just hours before the shooting. Prosecutor Eric Smith also spoke to Knight's alleged false alibi about being home at the time of the shooting when his cell phone records show he was in the area of the crime, as well as testimony from his former roommate who also said he left the house for about 20 minutes just before the shooting. However, the defense argued that Knight was on a path to turn his life around and that his former co-defendant and cousin, Jeremy King, is lying for his own benefit after he reached a plea deal with a prosecution that will potentially allow him to serve just six years in prison for being an accomplice. And to that, the prosecution gave an emotional final statement. Bringing Mr. King in here and having him testify is gross. And that is not justice. He's a liar. He's just a liar, liar. That's what he is. And they're trying to make you believe a liar to make up with the problems in their case, the burdens they cannot meet, okay? Case and Guyton being shot Brian Guyton being shot in the leg is a scar essentially on the soul of our community and what happened that day. And it was brought on by Jonathan Knight, his membership in the West Side Crips, and his belief that he's an East Side killer. The jury began deliberation Wednesday afternoon, but heard from nearly 70 witnesses in the case and were presented with about 100 pieces of evidence. A verdict could be reached by Thursday or Friday, if not the following week. In downtown Bakersfield, Micah Thomas, Eyewitness News. Hi, I'm Rochelle Murcia with Eyewitness News Bakersfield Now on YouTube. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel where we have tons of great content to choose from. While you're here, go ahead and click on the subscribe button right there. That way you can stay up to date on all the things related within Kern County. Thanks for watching.